We're here today at the Beechwood Centre in Paisley to talk about the role of arts and culture in improving the prosperity and well-being of people. It's at the beginning of a research project, trying to get community perceptions of what culture and the arts mean. We have a, a, a project that's funded by UKRI, which is UK Research Councils, really about enhancing the relationships between universities, community partners, uh, and that includes in this context Renfisher Council, but also the STAR project. We were really keen to be involved in this project simply because it's, it's vital for us that the community have a voice and be heard, you know, and in terms of the work that STAR project does, we see so much creativity and engagement with cultural activities from community members. We see the benefit, but we don't know if that's been passed on. I've kind of opened my eyes a bit more to what culture means, I think. I've got a wee bit more, it's not just, as I said, the opera and the ballet, there's a lot more kind of grassroots about what happens in your area and how that kind of reflects and so a wee bit more of an understanding about what culture is. I like when it's kind of interactive group activities, it's nice to see everybody kind of coming together and putting everybody's ideals and just a sense of community. Today was about finding creative ways of capturing that and hearing what everybody had to say and using a place-based approach, giving people an opportunity to maybe think about it in a slightly different way. And you always get more ideas when people get together. Sculpture was a big one as well, that we have a sculpture living in Paisley and again walking through Paisley there's so many different sculptures. The library, which makes us feel relaxed, we like going there. There's a land for the kids, we've got the YMCA, which we've done these. We've got Hundreds of stuff. That's what makes Paisley is the uniqueness of all the people that are in here today. You know, it was like everybody putting their knowledge together and telling us about things that we didn't know about before. So that that's what I liked. And it's good for the communities to come together, knowing a lot of people and finding out stuff. It's absolutely about kind of getting people to reflect about arts and culture doesn't have to be formalised, it doesn't have to be activities, it could be actually something about their neighbourhood that they feel is there's part of a kind of broader set of values and beliefs and cultures about those and I think we've heard those already today that people have a very clear um, view on the importance of their neighbourhood, of their streets, of their area that gives, they believe is, is culturally strong but also to recognise that going to a local church and accessing a toddler's group or accessing a, a knitting group or a, a, or a sewing group is also a cultural experience. We want you to draw around one of somebody on your table. Everybody put your finger on your nose, the last person to do it, that's the bit did it. So let's think about the ways in which we are benefiting from engaging with culture. I'm encouraged by how much it is going on in in my town and stuff that I, that I didn't realise, you know, a lot more. I basically enjoyed everything, the fact that it was to do with the community and trying to find out ways of getting more integrated with other things within the community, like mental health and stuff like that. Uh, I know certainly a lot of people were realising today things that they did were actually cultural activities that they maybe hadn't thought of previously. A lot came out about areas, specific areas today. Um, a lot of people spoke about the town centre, a lot of people spoke about short routes, they spoke about Fergus the Park, they spoke about particularly, I think, community hub type areas, for instance, like Star Project, the Tana Hill Centre, um, places like that. They spoke a lot about um, open space. The Fountain Gardens got mentioned so many times today and a few people were, were um, a few of my colleagues were commenting on that. There's a lot of really good stories coming out, some very touching stories about what this place, this area means to people. And then finally, environmental, we got there, we got there in the end. Uh, environmental is uh, lovely buildings and street makes you feel safe and good. Love street, fountain, beautiful. Any town, any city, any country, We've all got culture somewhere. You've just got to look for it.